What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet Live in Effect. Like I always am here with Shop Lyrics Boutique YouTube channel. Yo, if y'all can y'all really can't see, but yo, the car is packed to the ceiling. I barely had a seat. You what? Barely had a seat. Where are we going? Tell them where we're going. Huh? Tell them where we're going. We're going back, we're going up, we're going back yonder. The North Carolinas, the North Cackalackies. I do apologize to all the North Carolina watchers. This is not how she normally acts. What did I do? She mom? loves North Carolina. I do love North Carolina. Let me just say that. Past McKinney. Yeah, that's our county. No, it's spelled wrong. Oh, okay. So we are on our way to Raleigh uh, to go to a convention. I think it's called North Carolina Vintage Bazaar. Uh, and the way they're advertising it and the way they're talking, this is the biggest vintage clothing event in North Carolina. And I have to kind of agree with them, even though this is their first time doing it. The reason why I say that is because I follow a lot of uh, vintage events that are in North Carolina. And they're at like breweries and... Um, breweries. Yeah, I can't say it right. Brewery. He added like eight R's <laughs> and 14 E's. Really? <laughs> How do I say it? <laughs> so I'm sorry, Tony and Mitra. I can't say your last name. <laughs> Mitra can't say their last name. <laughs> That's anyway. But like, so this uh, this event is at the Raleigh Convention Center, the Raleigh Convention Center, um, and we we've done an event there before at Kickback Expo. Uh, go and check out that video because the first time I did Kickback Expo was the uh actually um a record breaking day for me i sold a lot of inventory that day um so i'm expecting the same thing at this event because it's strictly vintage and it's at the richmond convention center i mean i said richmond the raleigh convention center so um i'm not going to pick up this video until tomorrow morning but i did want to show y'all that we are on the road y'all see that we bike and we are we bike it says we'll get there at 743 why do people say that why do people spell it b-i-k-e when they be talking about so we bike we bike it's back b-a-c-k-e yeah i don't know why people do that but that's totally off subject <laughs> <laughs> so i'll pick up the video tomorrow morning when we are on our way to the convention center we bike it's gonna be an early morning uh, so like, I'll see y'all. Yo, she didn't take her medicine today, y'all. <laughs> she didn't take her medicine. Why you ain't take your medicine? Well, I just want to see what was gonna happen on these two and a half, three hours ride down the road. And it's just me and her in the car, y'all. Luckily, not, it's luckily, it's somebody else back there. No, really. Luckily, I'm not driving. So you got anything to say about that? I don't know why he always has to make I don't even be paying it any attention He has to let me know That the car is driving itself And he knows it irritates me So, alright y'all, see y'all tomorrow morning Ah! The hell was that? <laughs> why does she do stupid <laughs> stuff like that y'all? Good morning, good morning As promised, I was going to hop on here Before we head to the venue It is currently 6 17 i don't know if y'all can see that 8 a.m in the morning and we are heading to the venue um but before we go to the venue we are going to <laughs> stop at starbucks so nicole can get her coffee fix and um other than that i'll see y'all after we set up it's gonna be a long process y'all all right y'all
What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Got the Poet. I forgot to tag you. Like I told you, I was going to do as much as I could <laughs> filming, but that was a no go. You got anything to say? We could absolutely do no. We couldn't do nothing. Nothing at all. Not nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. I can't even talk. Like. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you guys can see. I'm delirious. <laughs> you, you can, I'll show y'all in the morning as well, but yo, you can actually see out the back window. When I came down here, you couldn't see out the back window. I want to say that. We had an amazing, amazing, amazing event. I'm going to put the two pictures, I'm going to try to put them right here, of the empty hangers from the event while we were at the event. <laughs> but, um, we're getting some food now getting ready to go back to the hotel after we get to the hotel i'm going to eat and take a shower and i'm laying down i am laying down it is 7 12 <laughs> p.m <laughs> i'm so tired y'all don't understand I, I want to put this out there. My wife is the best wife ever. If she didn't come with me, <laughs> I, I, I would have been messed up. <laughs> Not gonna lie to y'all. Not gonna lie to y'all. But Yo, we got shout through out the, to the North Carolina Vintage Bazaar. Is that what is that yes. the name of it? Like literally, from. Early, early bird birds, at 11 o'clock. Early birds was at 11. Till 6. I think. We did not stop. Someone someone mentioned that uh, they heard a rumor that they sold over 7,000 tickets. I don't know if y'all watched my Kickback Expo video. Go watch that because I think this one beat it. I don't know yet. Once I get back to the room and like calculate stuff and Man. do all this stuff, I would tell y'all. But I didn't even get to shop, and I normally shop at these events. I bought absolutely nothing except for drinks and two cookies. And now, hopefully, this burger that I'm getting ready to get, and she's ordered a turkey burger. I started to get a real burger. We're, I... we're going to Remington. What is it? What's Remington's the name? Grill. Remington, Remington's yep. Grill. I don't think they can do anything wrong to my burger. His burger. Mm, I, I ordered it the same way. You go cut it while you in there. Nah, I, ain't, I don't care. I, I'm a, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. He like eating leather, y'all. Back to what I was saying. She always likes <laughs> saying stuff that don't make sense. <laughs> but, yo, we're going to get into it tomorrow morning. Uh, what are we getting into? I'm gonna give them a recap because I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to wait until I get home. My ankles. I'm gonna do so a bad. recap and from the hotel room, and I think I I'll see y'all then. Back there she left her ankles room. and her knees. Man, my knees <laughs> at about 5:45. I went to walk something to the trash can, and my knee completely went out. I was like, oh, I said, okay. It's over. <laughs> oh. We're too old for stuff like this, <laughs> like that. I need that to, he need to hurry up and hire some employees. I definitely need to hire some people. Uh, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, y'all. I'll get to y'all in the morning. I'll, I'll give y'all a recap. See y'all then. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Got back with the outro of the video. Um, so basically, I wanted to give y'all a little rundown on yesterday on how everything went, um, my thoughts of the event, and um, would I do it again? So uh, let's just get right into it. First and foremost, everything was super professional. It was easy to sign up. It was easy to like book your vendor booth. The only problem is it sells out very quickly. And my wife is actually trying to see this. I'm trying to record and she's trying to distract me. So um, the only problem with signing up is um, if you wasn't on the website, the minute the vendor slots dropped, most likely you wouldn't get a, a vendor spot. And the reason why I say that because it sold out, was it 10 or 15 minutes, baby? It was it sold out very quickly. I, I'm gonna say it sold out within the first 15 to 30 minutes. I'm not sure exactly, but as soon as they dropped, uh, the next hour on their Instagram, they posted that 
it was sold out vendor slots. And then they sold out all their early birds and there were, uh, I spoke to one of the vendors and he told me that there was rumors going around that there were over 7,000 tickets sold to get into the event. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it seems like that, <laughs> that uh, statement was very true because start to finish, it was very busy. Start to finish, very, very busy. You wanna say something? Or you just... Start to finish, it was very, very busy. And I don't get paid enough for the amount of abuse I had to tolerate yesterday. <laughs> There was abuse yesterday? Yes. What kind of abuse? Oh my god, my hips, everything. Oh, so your body. I didn't I didn't abuse her, y'all. So don't start calling me Ike. <laughs> um, all right, so next uh thing. Um when we got there, uh there were uh there was a seven six or seven a.m. setup time. I asked could I set up at seven. Um we got there about ten or fifteen minutes before seven. <laughs> Yeah, which was definitely good because uh, the vendor, I mean, the venue uh, wasn't letting anybody in until seven for some reason. I don't know why, um, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? We got in, we set up within, like we have a very simple and easy setup. When we first started doing this, it was a problem because we didn't know what we were doing. So we would just show up and figure out what we do. Now, because we've been doing it for a few years now. He went and parked the car and I had already set up everything. Yeah, so Nicole set up everything except for the table before I got back. And the table, we didn't know exactly where we were gonna set the table up because there was a lot. It, it, it was this, tight. Yeah, the space that we received was kind of tight. Luckily, we had a few vendors around us so we could shift down a little bit and gave both of us a little bit of space. So that was actually good. Um, and with, with that being said, customers, when I tell you the customers were in there to spend money, uh, very few of them negotiated yeah, with me. Yeah, didn't haggle. I, um, at, if you guys know and follow me and been to a pop up where I'm at, my slogan is don't hesitate to negotiate. Because we need to trademark that though, because people start using it too. I, I, I yeah. keep the people gay. Yeah, so I think we need to put out some shirts or something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so with that being said, like I stopped saying that halfway through the event. I stopped saying a whole lot of stuff. Because it was just too many people. It was just so much. At one point I said, everything 50% off. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> See how she do? See how she do? She trying to she trying to like put everything out there. <laughs> But, um, so, uh, we, and, and the vendors around us were very friendly and very open to speak to us. Uh, it was definitely a situation where people wanted to like talk to us. It, it was definitely a great networking event. Um, I already put, baby, can you get my shoe out of there? Can you get my shoe out of there? So I, 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 I'm going to show this. Talking about nah, the other one. So basically, you need, you need a reference for it, so you need to show them both. Karma is a is, is love, yo. I tell I tell you, karma is love. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. She, she always talking crap, and then instantly karma hits. So so yesterday I was wearing these shoes right here, the undefeated Air Max. You see undefeated on the toe box. You can see the white clean mesh, right? Right after we set up, we decided, like we always do, we're gonna walk the venue and see other uh, vendors and see what we could do. I don't know why, but somebody decided to leave coffee sitting, like like a cup of coffee sitting on the floor. I'm not looking at the floor. I'm looking straight up, like seeing what's going on around me, and I trip up. And y'all see my brown uh, Air Max now? The video, the, the, the event hadn't even started. The, the, the doors wasn't even open said, for okay. people. I said, this is gonna go downhill from here. So basically, <laughs> Nicole had an idea for me to take this to the bathroom and try to rinse it off. The mesh is actually stained, but I have an idea to see if I can get this out. Yeah, because um, I didn't want to, if the coffee had a set, it would yeah. have been harder to get out. So I think I'm gonna try my best to uh, get it out if I can't. These will be up for sale, calling these the Raleigh Ones. All right, <laughs> the Raleigh Ones. <laughs> but anyway, um, so uh, 
the the people who run the event they basically uh super nice super friendly and they helped me out a little bit because uh, i i asked for uh a table um or i asked was there a table um like part of the booth they said it wasn't but then they gave me a table that they had that was extra and they didn't charge me for it so that was pretty nice to them and the guys that run it they were super nice they came around at the end was talking to all the vendors yeah because they couldn't come around yeah it was just it was super busy too many. can you add some of the like pictures and videos and stuff i could try my best to add some either at the end or while i'm talking and i'll put it right here whatever uh but if i can't do that yo go follow the shop rva because i'm gonna do a, a recap post on the shop rva and i'm actually gonna do a thank you uh post now while i got the camera up i'm gonna do it on my phone so i get posted directly to the instagram page but yo uh thank y'all for rocking with me um last night while nicole was asleep i was looking up other events because i want to try to do one twice a month but i don't know if i Let's can talk about last night last night y'all I, I was closing the video so out tired, yo. <laughs> like i was so tired and i fall asleep quick anyway Yo, soon as she soon as I ate, <laughs> soon as she ate, she was like, "I don't snore." The whole night. All right, y'all. So, yo, appreciate y'all for rocking with us for real. It's been real. Um, you want to you want to say any last words, baby? Uh, oh, let let's show them that before we go. This is the last thing we're gonna show them. Follow Nicole's Instagram because she does these things. We're getting ready to try this on her Instagram. Uh, she does these things called, uh, they made me do it, so I make him do it. Uh, it started off with Trader Joe's made me do it, so I made my husband do it. And now we branched off to other products and stuff like that. So shout out to her uh, for continuing to do a lot of content creation because we're gonna stay on top of this this year. I'm trying my best to be consistent. I know I haven't been, but I've been busy, y'all. So, all right, y'all. Peace. See y'all in the next one.